namaste to all and welcome from dhananjay kumar to this video dedicated to the greatest teachers of the world many of them are being created now and we are grateful to those from whom we have learned a great deal unfortunately what we have learned we have probably not applied in our life not use that knowledge to grow to a higher level so in this video i'll briefly describe one such area which is worth considering a different way of thinking and acting that has to do with linearity linear projection which means we stay take a situation existing now or a trend existing from past until now and project it in future which means continue thinking and doing same thing perhaps more and hopefully better but it is a linear projection how we use resources we are fundamentally a resource based society and economy we use up the nature to produce things for our consumption so a linear growth which means we do more of the same even if slightly differently but doing more of the same and keep doing it so that we can have more things for our consumption and we utilize more resources and waste a large part of it in the process so that is linear thinking we should be able to think alternatives alternative futures which means a new and different ways of producing energy for example rather than burning fuel or other natural resources we can produce energy from the sun or utilize the energy showering on us by the sun and many great scientists ha have imagined creating energy from empty space vacuum from vacuum and creating additional energy within ourselves and using using it in a better way so an alt a shift in thinking a shift in our approach somehow we have blocked it we need to make it more alive into us and think explore examine and where possible follow a shift in our path and to prepare today's younger children to be capable of thinking differently one effective way is to present a challenge or question which is out of the way out of their existing framework and environment this ask a weird question just imagine what if the world was different what if the earth was rotating faster or orbiting slower or was closer to the sun or further away from the sun what if we did not have moon why do we see certain colors why white is more visible at all times what is darkness what if you could choose to become an animal which animal would you choose what if you were the most powerful person you could do everything what would you do or what if you had no power then what would you do supposing this what if question 
opens up children's mind away from linear thinking into options and alternative futures. That's very, very important. I wish our society as a whole was doing that. Then we probably would have created a more advanced civilization and level of technology than what we are struggling with. So, in one of uh, videos on this uh, channel, uh, we have uh, presented a list of 50 what if questions and many children from Pragyale uh, classes, teachers have uh, forwarded to our uh, WhatsApp group and children have done wonderful which many grown-ups probably think it's a ridiculous thing, it's not practical, so can be ignored. But they have come up with wonderful ideas. And when teachers are dealing with those answers, I would suggest you explore it deeper. Suppose the, a, a child comes up with an idea that if, if I could become an animal for a day, which animal would I choose? One of them said, I would choose to be a butterfly or a fish or a bird. So don't stop at this one line answer. Inquire them to think further. If you want to be a bird for a day, why? Let's see what they answer. One may say that because then I can fly and see the earth from a higher vantage point or to travel I will not need uh, roads and cars and uh, trains I can just fly and go there is there will be no traffic jam <laughs> in the sky some funny answers wonderful answers or if I were a fish for a day I would go to the deepest to the bottom of the ocean and see what is there because normally we don't see that deep because of the uh, pressure and weight uh, so we basically explore the surface of the ocean so please look at those what if questions and use it in your classes and uh, in addition to those what if questions one could also touch upon another very interesting topic and some books have been written on it is how intelligent kids even if they make mistake a lot of things can be learned from mistakes or in the beginning it appears to be a mistake but in the long run it is the right thing to do so we have made one video on that topic as well uh, and in addition we have presented a list of uh, a dozen or more uh, good books on education which is also useful for uh, teachers particularly so use up these uh, resources and communicate with us uh, your comments suggestions or questions and to the extent possible we can uh, respond uh, which may be of use good use for you or suggest suggest other ways where to find those uh, topics those questions so let's work together in raising intelligent kids and building or rebuilding our future thank you for watching and we'll meet again soon